Actually, I want to know. All right, so they won eight Malaysian Premier Leagues. What's the pa the past winners go back to seventy nine? Okay, no longer is this interesting. Okay, so um, Selangor, Penang. Okay, these are all Super League teams. Sarawak, are they lower division? Okay. Uh, Perak. Okay. What song is this? Yeah, Super League. Yeah, Super League. Okay, so there's only two teams that are, you know, non-Super League teams. Interesting. Johor no longer exists. So it's now Johor DT. Darul Tazim FC. Okay. Uh, do they not recognize this win here? Eight. Doesn't seem like it. But it's really mixed. There's really like no back to backs except this most re like you got a little stretch here, Kalantin and Selangor, but George just immediately stormed it as soon as they locked it in. I mean, eight in a row is crazy. You know, we all know about like Juventus and uh, Bayern Munich. You know, just again that one's that one's insane. That one's like so. It's just so long. It's just so long. Um, sure, balance is fine. I mean, wow, five one. So this is the thing. This is like what this whole. It's we are we're up six points, which is great. But it's like this is what this uh league is all about. It's just like teams are just getting blown out, and it's just like an odd respect to parity because you have these foreign players who are like so much better than the domestic players. Also, they just like the gaps here are is crazy. The grab the gaps are crazy. Uh, Proyek or Project, I don't know. Horrible. They're getting literally demolished every single game. Um, I mean, three draws: Kellington, Johor two, and Tarangano two. I mean, yo, to consider oh, seven three. Oh my god, they're literally getting massacred every game. These two one ones are literally their best result. Or the three one ones here. Wow. Yeah, they beat Proyag. That I mean that makes sense. Uh Kelton, UIT and Tarangano too. Okay. Wow. Who's Kuchin Links? Johor two and Kelton. Kelton's a good team, so I get that. Like, I, I get a little scared of them. Kelton United. Kelton, I got to play down here. But they're, at least I'm at home. But yeah, Johor, Tarangano, and Kuching. Like, this is the next, like, this is basically the title decider right here. If I can win that, then it's over. All right, we'll be back just in for a little, a little second here. Just taking a quick second.
And we're back. We're back to our game here. Let's see what's going on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <clears throat> A lot of injuries right now. Financial position not strong enough. That's not a good thing. Um, you don't give any recommendations, huh? Um, let me see here. What is the, uh, the rules here? June 20th to July 15th. Okay. Interesting. Okay. That's, uh, that's useful information. Nice. A little bit of professionalism. Nice. I like that. Yeah, absolutely. Player of the month. Absolutely. He deserves that. We should get that on lock. Goal of the month. Nothing. But to be fair, we don't really put ourselves in the... Like, we're going to put ourselves in, like, great positions. There we go. Manager of the month two times in a row. Jordan Minta. Player of the month. Team of the month. Agba. Abdul Majid, really. Shani and Okwosa. No Castaneda. Really? That's a snub. That's a snub. What did you do in uh, in May? What did you do in May? Um, One goal. That's in the FA Cup. That doesn't matter. One, two, three, four goals. Five, six goals. Maybe he does deserve it. <laughs> Six goals is a lot. Uh, my boy here. What did he do? One, two, three. Four goals. Okay. Like, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Goals? That guy has to be... Yeah, he's right here. Okay. Oh, he's at four and now he's at ten. Just because of this one month. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Nineteen. Expected goals is 12.24. Dude. Wow. He's so far above everybody else. 5.71 for Bruno? Really? He's got 12. Uh, yeah, criticize Awad. Honestly, I'd like to play Awad, but like Macaulay just fits better. Just I just need the attacking option. That's what he does. That's what he gives me. I have a super strong spine on the team. And that's uh that's like absolutely needed. Super strong spine on the team. I don't know how else to tell this uh how these guys but like I'm like you know the reason why you guys are losing so much money is cuz you have all this drag from these garbage garbage like young players you need to get rid of them and then maybe you'll make some money that's literally where all the money's going
So I don't know how else to tell them, but you know, it's like, dude, Uh, rearrangement. Oh, that's because they're in the FA Cup and they got moved on. Okay, so, um, that being said, oh, first and second laid for quarterfinals. Interesting. Uh, Malacca, UITM. Okay, so, ooh, we got three Premier League teams, UITM, Kellington, and Tepac. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh. Johor at eight, Okay. Keta at three. Pahang at five. Penang three. Selangor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Super League titles. So Selangor is actually like right behind them, like just in terms of the title. title Joe will definitely win another one, but. Uh, who's got the most here? Tarangana two. Selangor two. We got two. Kenneth's got four. Wow. Fell to United, too. Wow. Okay. And then uh, let's go to the FA Cup. Why is there one down there? Um, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Tarangana, two. Pahang, three. Kuala Lumpur, three. One, two, three, four, five. For Keta. Yeah. Interesting. So Selangor seems to be the uh, like the the team to to really kind of take on here. Team to beat almost. Ooh, coaching loss to Kellington. That's big. I also think too is Parak again nine points for the financial mismanagement. I mean they have thirteen points right now. You know, again they would be right. They'd be right there just like lurking in the background, you know, at second place. Just, you know, because six points at this point is like, that's a lot considering that we only have six games left. But um, they had an extra nine points. They'd be at 22. So they'd just be five away. It would be like, eh, if you just slip a couple times, you know, like it's like something would happen. But, you know, Parak, you know, they've. They screwed it up. They screwed it up. Kuching. They'll get. I think they'll get promoted. But can't, I mean, Morong, they have the Morong though. This uh, Gambian player, he's really good, and uh, he's definitely got some uh, some opportunity. I'm interested to see like Terengganu two, Johor two, and then Proyek. They're like automatically relegated. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I gotta look that up. So let's do a little let's do a little bit right now. Let's do a little look up right now. Let's see what's going on. Was it a uh... Malaysian Premier League 2022 Hold on here. All right, here you go. So this is, uh, oh God, there, thank you. Uh, this is where everybody is. Um, let's see here. Coaching City's way over on Borneo. Iraq, Kelton United's, oh, Kelton's way up top. Terengganu, Selangor, PDRM, that's where we are. Uh, Jor's in the south by Singapore. Interesting, okay. Um... Da, 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 da. PRM in real life actually got sixth. Okay, and so the break actually got eight. Is eight? They had um. Took three points on April first for breaching financial. Later six points 
uh, more were de- reduc- deducted on the 15th of April following a failure to play pay players and officials for one day prior. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. Two, two, and two aren't eligible because the parent clubs are in the Super League as their, the feeder teams can only play in the leagues for the par- uh, below their parents. They also can't play in the Malaysian Cup as they're eligible. Yeah, that makes sense. UA team withdrew from Super uh, Liga Super before the 2023 season. What? Um, interesting. What? Weird. Okay, Parak. Weird. Okay. Um. Okay. FAM MSN project is only a as a backup squad and will not be promoted. What? Abu Kamara. Okay. I don't know any of these. I don't recognize any of these guys. Top assist, CDB. Wow. Hat tricks, clean sheets. Nothing else, huh? Fadi Awad was the only guy. Okay, Milos Lachny. Yeah, there's literally like no, none of the guys that I have right now. They're not even on the team. Coaching changes. Okay. Interesting. We all play in like pretty big stadiums, honestly. Expulsion Parak 2. The team's relegated to it was keep all the teams in the previous season that were not promoted or expelled. Parent team or fitter team cannot play in the same league. So they had like a total remake of the Malaysian soccer. They also had a bunch of financial issues. Eighteen team expansion of the Super League next season. The top four non feeder teams were planned to be promoted automatically to the Super League. The bottom two non feeder teams will need to be able to do a playoff. Um, I guess the champions and runners up decide the two spots of the promotion. Okay, however, and so it was announced at Malaysia Football that the bottom two non feeder teams, Parak and UITM, had been promoted automatically to the 2023 Super <laughs> Okay, because the M3 teams that applied for licensing to play in the Super League, including the uh, PIB, have failed their application. Oh my God, this is like a confluence of issues. Wow. Okay, so we had a bunch of issues financially as well as seems administratively um, about the players that could go. Then UITM seems like they were automatically promoted. Um, and then they decided not to... Uh, this is crazy. Uh, okay, so 2023 Super League. Yeah. Titles back up two, really? Interesting. Lions. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, where's the... Where's the... Did it not happen? Like, where's the where's the table? Current twenty twenty four and five. Now see table. Oh, here we go. Table. Oh, that's that. Okay, here I call. Okay, PDRM. That's us. Sri Pahang. Yep. Kuching Saba. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Okay. Wait, then the, let's go 2023. Where is restructure not aligned with the club's future vision? 
Oh, PJ City and UITM failed licensing Sarawak United and Malacca United. And so they were expelled. Wow. Crazy. So they they actually had four teams just literally get... Two teams fa failed licensing and the other two needed to get restructured. Oh my God, dude. That's a nightmare. Ejected. Oh my God. Eight points. Wow. Since the 2023 FA Cup, a draw qualified as age of Uh Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Because they won twice. Uh, qualified as the... And runner up. Okay. Qualified. The, okay. MFL officially snubs the Kellington Club licensing approval. Oh, whoa. 121, negative 92. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait. Kellington. Wait. Two to eleven. Oh my god. Oh and eight. Yo, they got absolutely ripped up. Oh and seven. Oh and five. Wow. Okay. Well, I think we've learned something today, which is um Yeah, I think we learned something today. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. That's insane. All right, so now we're back. Learned a couple of things today. Malaysian soccer is uh, a little disrupted. 